Hi, this is Jensen Earth Science. Today I'm going to go over longitude and how it affects time. First, we have to understand the rates of Earth's movements. Earth is an oblate sphere that rotates. Okay, here's Earth, it's an oblate sphere, and it rotates. One rotation on our oblate sphere consists of 360 degrees. One day on our oblate sphere, 12 p.m. to 12 p.m., is 24 hours. This means that Earth is rotating 360 degrees in 24 hours. So how many degrees does it rotate in one hour? I take 360 degrees and divide it by the 24 hours that it's rotating for, and I get 15 degrees per hour. This is why we have time zones. So different times in America. I need to add all my longitude lines, uh, in America that we'll be using for this example. Here's all the longitude lines we'll be using. So when moving from east to west, time will decrease by one hour every 15 degrees of longitude. So this would be like moving from New York to California. So for example, I want to find out what time it is at 105 degrees west if it is 12 p.m. at 75 degrees west. So here's 75 degrees west and it's 12 p.m. So we're moving from east to west. Then there is a 30 degree difference in between the two longitudes. Since there is an hour difference every 15 degrees when we have 30 degrees, there will be a two hour difference. And since we are moving east to west, the time will be earlier in the day than where we started from. So we subtract hours. So 12 p.m. minus 2 hours will be 10 a.m. When moving from west to east, time will increase by one hour every 15 degrees of longitude. If it is 1 p.m. on 115 degrees west, it will be 2 p.m. at 100 degrees west. So we're moving from 115 degrees west to 100 degrees west. This is a 15 degree difference, meaning a one hour difference. 15 divided by 15 is one hour difference. So now we are moving from west to east, we will add one hour. So this means that at 100 degrees west, it will be 2 p.m. I hope this is helpful. Please check out other playlists I've created on this topic and have a great day. Thanks.